Hey guys, welcome back to Gardening Young. So, today is a very, very exciting day. Exciting day. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a seed unboxing. So, I've got three seed orders here, and literally, like, I just got them. So, you're opening this with me. Now, I don't think, I don't know for sure, but I'm not positive. Actually, We'll see if this is all of my seeds. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is, but you know, you never know. So, here is my seeds, and I'm so excited to open, open them, and let's just hop right into the video. Alright, so I think I'm going to start by opening um, the big Baker Creek. We're going to open Baker Creek first, and then we'll open the Hudson Valley Seed Company. So, I'm going to go ahead and open these. I literally get so excited. Seeds are like one of my favorite things to get because I because I get to get new varieties and it's just so fun to me. Oh, here they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And um, if you don't know by yet, if you haven't seen my last video and you're new here, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. Um, so I have ordered from Baker Creek before and I love their seeds. Their germination is um, am amazing. I've never had germination problems with their seeds and I've always had re a really good experience with Baker Creek. So if you're looking into a seed company, I definitely highly recommend them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open this um, next package because I know that it's only one package. I actually was like, I had ordered my like big package from Baker Creek and then realized that I didn't have this one seed that I really, really wanted. And so I was like, okay, I have to order this. So it's like only one seed. <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you what all of them are. And then um, we'll just go from there. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, this gets me excited every single time. So I think I have a total of 11 seeds from Baker Creek. So the first one is Russian Red or Rajik Jack Kale. Let's see, oh yeah, there you go. And I absolutely love this um, kale. I, well, honestly, I don't know why I just said that because I haven't grown it before, but I've heard really good things from it. Um, one of the things that Baker Creek does is they'll give you free seed um, on your orders. So the the free seed that I got is Mizuno. I don't even know how to pronounce that name, and I've never seen this before. Um, so this is a new one to me. I'll have to do some research on it. I have no clue what this is, but hey, I always love learning. The next one is Pink Bumblebee Tomato. Um, I had, so I went out to a farm, I think it was, it was like midsummer, and they had this like, um, I just went out there to like see their garden and like kind of learn a little bit, and we were like harvesting things, and they had these pink bumblebees, and they were so good, so I had to try them. Um, the next one is Blue Cream Berry. Um, if you guys know, I love Roots and Refuge. I have her book. I have a couple of her t-shirts, um, but um, I love them. And she just um, has talked uh, very highly about the Blue Curing Berry tomato. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, they definitely look like ones that you can't find in the store. And that's one of the things that I love about starting seeds is because you can do like new um, varieties and stuff. The next one is the Yeti Nasturtium. I grew nasturtiums last year and I absolutely loved them. There was one that had like a really bright pink that I grew last year because I, I um, grew the um, Alaska mix and I just loved it. It was so pretty. I was like, and the leaves are really cool to like throw in salads and stuff. So I really enjoy growing nasturtiums and I was like, I have to grow this again. Um, on top of them, on top of that, one thing about nasturtiums is that um, they like are really good with... Um, like attracting um, like bugs and things that are bad. So they'll like um, deter all the things from your, um, the, the plants like tomatoes that you wanna keep and they'll just eat on the nasturtium. So um, it actually, 
um, like attracted some warm worm for me last year so it kept it away from my tomatoes and it was nice and my tomatoes like really had minimum horn, um, horn worm damage. So then there's also this Bloody Mary nasturtium which I'm really excited about because it looks, these look really gorgeous. Also dark purple opal basil. This is another one that's new to me. I've heard that it's really good. Um, so I just, it's another one that I just wanted to try. A lot of these are new to me this year, so just fair warning. <laughs> um, another one is Berry's Crazy Cherry Tomato. Let's see if that'll focus, there you go. And um, I've heard one of the people on YouTube said these are really cool and they grow in big clusters. And um, if you, um, watch my last video you'll know that um, that I have a big family so and everybody in my family loves cherry tomatoes so having big clusters and it producing a lot it, it was really good and I wanted to try this um oh ha that's funny okay um so the next one is dazzling blue kale I think this was a new one in for Baker Creek. So I just, I love kale and I love to make kale chips. So that's one of the things. And so um, I just, it was another um, kale. The other thing that I don't like, I don't love about the um, curly kale, but also, but I like about the flat leaf is flat leaf is a lot easier to clean and make sure there's no like spiders or bugs. Um, last year I had like the curly leaf kale and it got so curly that there were like spiders and stuff in it and there was no way I could get like all the like bugs and stuff off of it. So I just had to completely trash all that kale because, um, I like didn't really know what to do because I could not get the spiders out of it. If you guys have any tips on killing bugs so that you can um, have edible um, lettuce and kale and things like that, please leave a comment down below because that is one of the things that I struggled with last year is getting all the bugs off and like making sure everything was clean before I eat it because I'm not gonna be eating no um, uh, I'm not gonna be eating no bugs. Anyway. So I laughed earlier because I just found another blue cream berry. I think that I probably added it to the big thing and then ordered it again. Yup, that's what you get for not, not looking at your seed order confirmation well enough. You know what, it's okay. That means we have extra seed for next year and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love these. So. It's okay. Hey, always can use more seeds, right? Okay, and then the next one is Bright Lights Cosmos. Um, I saw Roots and Refuge grow these last year, and then I also had my grandparents grow um, some Cosmos last year, and I just seen them around places, and I was like, these are so pretty, I have to grow them. So I'm excited to be growing some Cosmos. Flowers are kind of new to me. I've grown vegetables for a while, but I haven't really done a lot of um, a lot of flowers, so I'm really excited to really get into dabbling with flowers this year. Um, that's one of the things that I was just really excited about. All right, this is my um, uh, Hudson Valley Sea Company um, order, and I am really excited about this. This is a new company to me this year. Um, I've never ordered from them before, but I've heard uh, really good things about them. One of the things that I love about their um, about their seed packets is they all, they have like um, like pretty designs that they have artists draw, and so I'm really excited about that. Let me look at this real quick. Okay, so I have a total of six. I have six um, seeds from this. So from this, and also theirs is a little bit more on the expensive side, so I kind of have to limit my. Um, how many I get from there, but I'm really excited. So one of the things that I want to do with this is because um, their packets are so beautiful, I kind of want to like make a collection on my wall of seed packets. So that was just an idea. Okay, so the first one that I got is Jersey Breeze Tomato. Um, one of the reasons that I picked this tomato was because, um, uh, so it's kind of like a medium um, tomato 
And last year I grew, I think it was early girl tomato. It was like just a transplant that I had gotten. Um, and I love the size of those tomatoes. So I wanted to get another one that was kind of this size. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. It's called Jersey Breeze Tomato. The next one is Brandywine Tomato Pink Strain. I thought this one looked really cool with all the stripes and also I've heard a bunch of people talk about Brandywine tomatoes so I'm really glad. I didn't have a huge slicer last year so I'm really excited to have a good um, slicer this year. Okay so the next one is Silver Slicer Cucumber. Look how beautiful that seed packet is. Um, I know Roots and Refuge, she loved these last year. Um, and you'll hear me mention Roots and Refuge a lot, but one of the reasons that I do um, want, you know, tend to get a lot of hers, but um, listen to her is because her growing zone is very similar to mine. Um, and not saying that I'm going to get every single one that she suggests, but um, yeah, I do just tend to um, try out some of the varieties that she recommends. Anyway, so um, she said that this was really good with... Um, like it was a very good producer and again um, I really like um, trying to get a bunch of like the producers because um, I have a big family so that calls that I need more um, higher producing varieties so I'm really excited about this one. And then the other thing that she said is that even if they got bigger that um, that they still were like really good like they they didn't they weren't like rubber um which i found with some um cucumbers that get really big um but they're just not edible anymore and so um th i'm like super busy so i'm not always on top of my garden so it's nice to have one of those um ones the next one is mexican sour gherkin cucumbers and look at the little mouses on the sea packet i think it's so cute i actually grew these last year um and absolutely love them it was like it was like they popped in your mouth. It was so cool. It's a really quick, cute little garden stack. I didn't get a ton of these last year because I didn't, I feel like I didn't put up the best trellis. Um, so it, it didn't like allow them to produce at, um, as much as I think they could have. Um, anyway, so I did love these and I wanted to get some more seeds because I ran out of seeds. Um, and so I got some more out of, the, of those. The next one is Emirate Pole Bean. Um, this one is like, for some reason, I could not find any like simple pole beans this year. I don't know what it was, but I looked on Baker Creek in my gardener. I looked on, um, I looked on here, and this was literally the only one that I could really find that was a good pole bean. And so, and all the other pole beans were like not ones that you could eat the pod. I don't really know. So this was the only one that I found. So we'll try this out. Um, it looks like a really nice one and I'm excited to grow this. And last but not least, um, I got the Bumblebee Mixed Cherry Tomatoes. So it's like the mix of um, the bumblebees and I'm so excited for these. Um, you saw me get the uh, Pink Bumblebee. Um, so just like I said, I saw this um, the, on the farm that I went to, uh, they had a bunch of bumblebee varieties and we took some home and absolutely loved them. So I'm really excited to grow the, it in my garden this year because I'm planning um, on doing a whole um, row of cherry tomatoes and then a whole trellis of slicer tomatoes. So that's why I've gotten so many tomatoes this year is because I am expanding my um, cherry tomatoes with all the things um, this year, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, so here's something that I also wanted to mention today while we're on the topic of seeds. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my, um, <laughs> enjoyed, enjoyed my, um, my seed haul today. I'm so excited for all my seeds, but one of the things that I wanted to show you is how I keep my seeds. I have not kept my seeds like this, um, for very long. I just got this a couple of weeks ago, and I absolutely love it. While I've been using it, I put some stickers that actually I got from Roots and Refuge. Um, but I love these stickers and I just put it on there. Um, and um, I love this one. It says cherry tomato rich. Um, anyway, so I have these on here. But basically what this is, I'll show you, is, if I can open it, 
is it's a um, actually a full fo a photo um, organizer that you can get off of Amazon you can get one at Michael's you can get it at a bunch of different places um, and I'll show you basically how I organize it but basically um, so I organize it by this side is warm weather um, crops and then this side is cool weather crops and this is how I organize it um, I want you to find the system for you but I absolutely love these these work so well for seeds um, and it just keeps you very organized but um, I basically do cold weather and warm weather and then I kind of separate the cold weather and warm weather into more categories so like for the warm weather I have um, cucumbers and herbs and tomatoes and peppers and beans and flowers and squash and melons those kind of things and then for the cold weather I have lettuce and peas and herbs and flowers and greens and roots and this um, just makes the most sense for me. I know I've seen one person, other person on YouTube, and she did it by like when she plants them. So like one's for 10 weeks, one for um, eight weeks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I feel like I could just, this just worked better for me. So this is how I do it. Um, and I just love this holder. So um, I think I got this one on sale for like, I don't know like $18 maybe um, and I just love it it was totally worth the money um, and so definitely if you're trying to find a good organization um, idea for um, organizing your seeds this is a great option now um, if you have a ton of seeds then you might need a bigger option because the, these do only hold so much but I mean you can always get two of these or um, you can figure out another option. Um, but I do love this, and if you have a collection, a good size collection like me, and I'm not gonna be able to um, keep it in a bucket any longer, um, that, <clears throat> and it'll just make it a lot easier for seed starting. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my seed haul and me showing you my seed organizer and I hope some of this information helped you. Um, I know this time of year is when after Christmas we kind of get back into the seed starting mode. We're looking through seed catalogs trying to figure out what we want to get for this next season. We're planning out our gardens and all of that fun stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned and maybe um, you'll go out and try to see if you can find some of the varieties I'm getting um, and I hope this I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!